The fancy name is Computer Aided Systems Engineering, which basically means we use computers to solve problems related to how you design a system, how you monitor a system, how you optimize a system, or how you control a system. I enjoyed the fact that I have learned so many different things working in different areas, from making microchips with um, LAM research, those things that are in your computer, cell phone, and so forth, from making potato chips, working with Frito-Lay and making all these snacks that you eat on uh, Super Bowl Sunday, when after all the analysis and after all the equations and after all the simulations of the computer and this and that and the tests and everything, you take something out in the field and it works. Maybe you found ways in which something doesn't work, but it's even more exciting when you actually find the ways in which something works. I'm not afraid to say it was one of the legendary departments when I moved here. Uh, there had been people who had made history in chemical engineering. Coming to an already legendary department, I was so pleased to see that the department is even improving. Teaching accomplishments. Uh, when I teach the process control course, I get in the evaluations at the end that I came to this class having absolutely no interest in this topic, and I realized that it's actually much more exciting than I had thought. So, other moments also, um, which are very memorable, are when a student tells you, Dr. Nicolau, this thing that you told us, actually I've used it. <laughs> <laughs> which is a big thrill that not everything <laughs> that we say is in books and theory, it's actually stuff that our students use. So, so when I teach them, um, I teach them definitely the fundamentals because that's where you start. You cannot go very far without the fundamentals. But unless you really see how the fundamentals are implemented to do something that is realistic, you never retain the fundamentals, you forget them. Once you solve just one problem that shows you how the fundamentals are used to solve that real problem, that realistic problem, then you never forget these fundamentals. And that has been tremendously helpful in my teaching. And also I have to say, uh, the support from the department, from the chairs of the department uh, with their patience and guidance as to how things were going and what I would be looking for, what I should be looking for and, and all these things. And it all worked out very nicely. There is no reason why the University of Houston cannot be the engineering powerhouse of the city of Houston, in Texas and the, the nation and globally, of course. Um, so we have, we have all the ingredients that we need to, to move in that direction. The fact that uh, alumni or students or faculty or other people who have nominated or supported uh, my candidacy for this award uh, think that there is something good that we do in this department, in my group, that's what I appreciate the most. It's a thrill, it's a big thrill, so that's, that's what I have to say.